What is up guys, welcome to the UPA Season 5 Week 5 Battle. Montreal Habsals taking on the Rosmalin Roserades, coached by River. We are about to get this uh, battle underway, I just, I'm waiting for him to challenge me. I'm actually going to message him in a couple of seconds, but I just wanted to go over something. If you didn't catch the team builder, be sure to check that out. Yesterday's video, it's the one that's uh, for the UPA of course, but I uh, just wanted to go over my Electros set a little bit. Um, I. Reduced a little bit of the HP EVs for one because I want uh, Latias to pass uh, wishes and heal up coverage uh, halfway. So that reduces a little bit of its HP, which is good in that sense. And also, I gave it uh, these EVs into speed. The reason being, this outspeeds four uh, speed EVs on uh, Golurk. So if my opponent is running any speed, I will know right off the bat. Uh, on that Golurk, and I'll know that I'll be able to break it down with uh, with special attacks uh, because it will more than likely not be assault vested in that case. Uh, and if it is, then it's probably not running rocks. So uh, that's also a good thing. I prevent my opponent from getting up rocks early in the game by finding that out. And uh, if I can identify a rocker, then we should be able to uh, to pull this through. So guys, uh, before we get this uh, battle started, I just wanted to uh, to address something. Um, I'm uh, this is uh, maybe the last time that I do live comm. We'll see. I am going to ignore opponent and spectators in this game uh, just so that I can focus as much as humanly possible. But if it doesn't work out and I'm still losing after this game, then I might have to do post comms just because if I don't have to commentate in open spaces where we're both waiting to make a move, then uh, I think I'll feel a lot more comfortable just going over the battle once it's actually done. So... That's it. Uh, I'm going to pause it here, and uh, when we come back, we will be ready to go, and uh, we will accept a, a challenge. So be right back, guys. All right, guys, and we're ready to go, so I'm just going to accept his challenge right here. We are going to see team preview. We're going to see what he brought, and uh, we'll evaluate from there. I did say that I will be ignoring spectators and ignoring... Oh, wow, he brought pretty much everything that I thought he would bring. Oh, that's crazy. That's so good, except for the Gliss score. I didn't think that was coming, but... Uh, we'll ignore spectators and ignore players so that we don't have to be bothered and we can focus and think about our moves clearly. And I think I'm just going to lead with Electros in this matchup. Honestly, it looks like the best thing I can lead with. If uh, he's running, running a fully fi uh, sped F um, Gliscor or Golurk, then our um, our Electros can take them on. So let's uh, let's see. Okay, so knocking off items is fun, definitely, because my opponent did not bring their Mega. So, yeah, Electros has a, has a good time here. Um, let's go with Electros. I think we're going to lead with it. It seems like a very solid lead. Now we just have to wait for him to pick his lead. The Wigglytuff is a little bit scary because we didn't plan heavily for it, but I should be able to wear it down. It's not a big problem. So he does lead with the Golurk. That's great. We'll be able to get off a big knockoff right here, get rid of an item on something. If it's the Gliscor, that's great. If it's the Latios, even better. <laughs> we'll do so much damage to that thing. Uh, my Lodic's not going to appreciate it. We can then follow that up with a wild charge, so it's looking pretty good. This may be an assault vested Golurk, and uh, it would be great to get rid of its item as early as possible so the Deancey can sweep later. And uh, Deancey can definitely do that very easily. We just need damage on the Milotic and a little bit on the Gliscor as well. So it's looking good. Uh, we can Toxic everything on his team minus the Gliscor, which we can hit with Ice Beam anyway. I don't really want to give Heracross a Guts boost, but I wouldn't mind wearing it down either. Uh, my opponent's going to switch into Heracross, actually, and lose their item, which was a Salic Berry. Interesting. Okay. Um, why would you be running a Salic Berry? That is the question. Let's bring up our Electros set. We know he's not banded, which is good. We got coverage here, and we have Heracross, which is a... Let's say it's offensive. You use Swords Dance, right? We'll go Adamant, uh, Max Attack. Close combat does not take us out, minus a crit, of course, uh, which can happen. <laughs> um, and he's not banded, that's good. Adamant, this is Adamant 2. So he hits 269 speed, which is nice. We definitely are slower than him, no matter what. And uh, I think we can just Volt Switch here, honestly. Uh, Volt Switch should be able to break his sub. Yeah, actually, it breaks his sub uh, almost 100% of the time, pretty much. Uh, there's no substitute on this, huh? No. Okay. Alright, so let's click Volt Switch. Um, we'll get a slow Volt Switch out into anything that we want, which is nice. We were able to get rid of Heracross's item. Knowing it's not Scarfed is really, really good, 
because it also means that I potentially don't have to get up a rock polish with Deancey either, because Latios Ladio has a hard time touching us anyway. We outspeed a vast majority of his team. I just want to calculate something before we go any further here, uh, he's, as he's taking quite a while to pick his move. I just want to uh, see Deancey. Our Deancey set against a Wigglytuff. So Jules... Um, Jules isn't Mega Evolved, right? No, it's not. Okay, good, because we're in Ubers. We're not in Anything Goes. So, uh, Mega Horn comes through, does a lot of damage to us, but we are able to get off a big Volt Switch, and we'll be able to go into pretty much anything. I mean, um, I think my best play is probably just to get up rocks at this point. How much can he do to me with his Heracross on... I want to I wanna calculate that damage first on... Uh, let's just see something, okay. Uh, on our Electros and see what kind he is. Uh, on coverage, that Megahorn did a lot of damage. It did 72%, which is within Adamant range. If he's Jolly, I don't think he can do that much minus a max roll. Yeah, either that was a very big roll or he's Adamant. So I want to see how much he does with an Adamant... Uh, an Adamant Heracross to uh, Armaldo. Jacques, the Armaldo. Close combat does about 50%, so he'll never be able to knock us out straight away. And we threaten him with the Stone Edge, so that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, I'll just go into Armaldo here. And uh, I think we're just going to click uh, Stone Edge, honestly. I just want to hit something, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, we can wish pass to Electros later, so it's not a problem that it took damage. I w I'd rather damage on this Heracross early, and um, yeah, I'm just going to Stone Edge here and hope my opponent goes for a close combat, thinking he can do a lot of damage to me, but we are fully physically defensive. He goes for a Stone Edge. We're going to, uh, for uh, Swords Dance, excuse me, we're going to Stone Edge and knock out the Heracross, so that's Armoldo's first kill of the season, guys. First attack, first kill. Crazy. Good job, Jacques. You did it. We have a Jake and a Jacques, I just realized, on our team. Very similar names. So, uh, now we're, uh, we're up to 6 to 5, which is pretty good. The Milotic can come in for basically free here, but I did say before that I want to get a Toxic off on that thing. As early as possible, so... We're gonna be trying to do that with our Latias, and, uh, we, we can Toxic anything. Again, the Gliscor doesn't want to come in on an Ice Beam. Uh, if I calc that, let's look at Gliscor. Uh, the OU Taunt Stallbreaker set, this is almost full spadef, we'll just put 252 in there just for fun, and then go to Latias over here, Clara, with an Ice Beam, does 94 minimum to that thing, so... My opponent does choose to go into the Milotic, now this could be a very good chance for me to see what kind of Milotic this is, um, if it's defensive or what have you, but let's see, UU defensive, can you knock me out with a Scald? Uh, not on this, on Armaldo. Armaldo, Jacques, takes quite a bit from a Scald, but not enough to knock us out. What if he's Choice Specs, Max Special Attack? Let's see. Item, Choice Specs. He can definitely knock us out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, so that was one of the sets that I was fearing, was a Choice Specs Milotic. So I'm gonna have to be very careful with that, and how I play around it. Um, but I think rocks are just so important this game because of Deancey. Like, so important. Um, the question is, I don't want to, the thing is, if this thing is Choice Specs, I don't want to switch it into, uh, I don't want to switch into our Latias right now, because we'll take a lot of damage from a predicted Ice Beam. So, let's just see, Clara, how well do you take this Ice Beam? Not well at all, uh, but we'll know if it Specs from the damage, so. Yeah, I'll just go Latias here. Latias is fine. It's, uh, it's, a C it's a safe move. He does go for the Toxic. I was kind of expecting that as well. Uh, but I am just going to hit Toxic myself. Actually, hold on a second. Electros has how much health? 101 hit points. 27%. Can a Milotic that's defensive without the Choice Specs, without all the special attack investment, because that's probably what it is, can you knock out Electros? Because I might want to pass to that now that the Heracross is gone. Let's see. Skull does 28 to 33, so yes, it definitely can. So I'm not going to take a chance here, I'm just going to Toxic whatever wants to come in. He actually goes into his Wigglytuff, he's going to see uh, with Frisk that I have uh, the Safety Goggles for the Amoongus. And this thing is potentially a threat. Um, it can go for Fire Blast right here if I decide to switch out into the Blade, which could be a big, big problem. Actually, looking at it now, the Blade is a big win condition for me this game, if I can get damage off on the Milotic, which I'm going to have to do at some point. 
So I'm fully uh, okay with switching out into Deancey here because I resist one of the stabs, uh, as well as I'm fully Spadef, so I should be able to take any hit, and potentially just go for a Calm Mind afterwards. I mean, does Wigglytuff get Heal Bell? Um, it might. Let's check. This is our challenge window. We gotta check this. Let's see if Wigglytuff, add Pokemon, Wigglytuff, gets Heal Bell. It does. Okay. Good to know. So it gets Heal Bell, but we can go out into our Deancey right here. As my opponent chooses to go for a Wish, which is cool. Uh, I'm just going to hit Calm Mind, I think. I think Calm Mind is fine. We wanted to calc this before. I need to see how much a Wigglytuff. Let's like let's say specially defensive or this is a max offensive set. I just want to give it max HP. Not invest in any of its defenses, but I'm gonna check out our Deancey set jewels and see how much we can actually do with a raw moon blast. Does 54 to 64, so that's pretty crazy. Um, my Lotic's at full, right? We already evaluated that it's more than likely defensive. So I like Calm Mind here. The problem is my opponent has two ground types. So I could probably predict one of them to come out right here. And switch into... Because realistically, this thing is doing nothing to me, right? So I'm actually going to switch into Jacques right here. Or Armaldo. As my opponent goes for Hidden Power and it's super effective on Jacques. I wonder what that was. Hidden Power Water? Ground? can't be ground has to be water or steel or it's hidden power steel interesting so I could have set up a calm mind right there but that's fine I'm just gonna go for stealth rocks right here we're gonna get them up as my opponent chooses to go into Gliscor which is cool uh, I don't really want to switch into Clara on a knockoff that would be terrible um, but I don't really have another play here let's see Gliscor if you're max Spadef, Gliscor Stall Breaker uh, with max special defense. Well, not that that matters right now, but I want to see how much Armaldo's Stone Edge does to it. I'm sure it's not too much. Um, yeah, it does only 30 to 36, so I don't really want to do that. Um, was he supposed to get his Toxic Orb to go off? I think he was. So does that mean he's not Poison Heal? If he doesn't have a Toxic Orb? Is he Defog? He could be Defog. Yeah, definitely. Alright, well, you know what? Let's go for Stone Edge. I'm curious. Okay, so he goes for a Swords Dance. Uh, we're gonna get a little bit of damage off right here. And is his... Uh, no, he does not have a Toxic Corp. Okay. Which means he could be Roost, which is a very valid option. Um, I need to get Clara in here to Ice Beam this thing as early as possible. So I'm actually just gonna go into Electros here to sack it, potentially. Uh, as he goes for an Earthquake, so that doesn't affect us. And now he has to go for a knockoff, so we're going to stay in here, we're going to Aqua Tail this thing, and he's going to have to attack us with something. Uh, he could potentially want to switch into Golurk here, but I don't think he would on a Hidden Power Ice potential. Um, the Wigglytuff never went for Heal Bell, so it's still Toxic Poisoned, which is really nice. Uh, as well as we saw Wish, what else did we see on Wigglytuff? Wish, Hidden Power, Steel, interesting, okay. So it's looking not too bad right now, uh, I have to, he goes for the Steel Wing on our uh, Electros, which is a very curious play. We're able to keep this Gliscor very low after that. Um, <laughs> Stealing is a very nice option for uh, for Deancey, I guess. Um, now, I can still keep this if I need something to deal with the Milotic, but at this point, the amount of work that Weavile puts in on my opponent's team at this point is insane. I do not even want to keep this, if I'm just being honest. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Aqua Tail, honestly. My opponent goes for another Steel Wing. I can now bring in... Uh, I think Weavile is fine, and just click Knock Off. And knock something's item off. And this Gliscor comes back in at 3%. It doesn't seem like it has... I can knock it out with anything at this point. Um, Armaldo just can't be in on this, ever. Uh, <laughs> let's, go into, uh, let's go into Weavile. And, um... Yeah, let's go for the Knock Off. Knockoff's fine. We outspeed this thing every day of the week, um, and it can never outspeed us, and we get a knockoff here, so that's kind of cool. My opponent goes into Milotic, I will switch back out into Latias. Potentially has Dragon Tail, so I have to be careful with that, but what can you do? Uh, I am going to knock an item off here 
regardless, something is getting knocked off. So, if it's the Milotic, great, we get rid of its leftovers, uh, which means it's going to be a little bit harder to kill it later if I try to Swords Dance up. Uh, as you guys will see, the item is going to go away right here. Uh, that actually did a lot, and he's leftovers. We are Lumberry. So, hold on a second. Wigglytuff's at what? 82? I need to calc something right here. Wigglytuff versus Weavile. All out attacker. No. Weavile. Weasley. Knockoff does 32 to 39. That's with no HP investment. If we go 252, it's still doing 28 to 34. At plus 2, it does 57 to 68. That's pretty good, actually. And Ice Shard does 47 to 56. I know he has the Hidden Power Steel. I can protect to get a round of Toxic off, which is nice. Now the question is, do I want to set up this early? Because Weavile is looking like a pretty good win condition. Right about now. Um... Not sure if I want to do that, guys. Not sure if I want to do that. Uh, but I actually think I don't have a choice because if I switch into Clara and I get Dragon Tail, this is not going to end. So I have to go for Swords Dance right here. Let's see what he, my opponent chooses to go for. It goes for a Recover, which means we are going to be able to get up another Swords Dance on this following turn. I just need to know when my Lotic goes down. My Lotic. UU Defensive. Scald is only doing 32 to 38, which means my opponent cannot like take me out. Could be running the Haze set, which is a very viable option. He's only shown Toxic and Recover up until now, so... Maybe not even carrying the Dragon Tail. Um, let's get rid of Leftovers right here. Alright, so... 43 to 50%, we're still not doing enough to a fully physically defensive Milotic. Now, he's not necessarily fully physically defensive. So... You know what, let's go for a knock right here. That's 64%, okay, so it's not fully physically defensive. Uh, and he lets me basically take out his Milotic at this point, which is huge. That's huge for Deancey. Oh, man, okay. All right, well, Weavile is definitely getting a kill right here no matter what. We are going to click Knock Off again. Gliscor comes in. Good sack. Gets rid of the Gliscor. Now the Milotic is sitting at 27%, which means it's going to have a hard time against everything on my team. Uh, that Knock Off at plus two with no item. Uh, oh, his Gliscor was a Yachi Berry set. Okay, interesting. All right. That's, that's cool. That's cool. So it could have taken uh, Latias's Ice Beam. Good thing we didn't ever go for that, huh? Um, so the, so the knockoff did 64%. So I'm assuming that this thing does not have any defensive invest investment. Yeah, because that would have needed to be a very high roll. And if we look at it with uh, without the plus two uh, and with an item and compare it to, um, to the damage that we did earlier when we first knocked it off, we did 47% and... Um, this does 42 to 49. Yeah, okay. So this is a non-physically defensive. It could still be bold, which is what I'm thinking it is. Uh, which means that I need to calc our Deblade's Shadow Sneak on this. Deblade's Shadow Sneak does in fact take it out. Okay, so Deblade is looking like our win condition right now. Um, on that note, my opponent has Hidden Power Steel on this thing. As well as Wish. How much does Hidden Power Steel do to us? Let's find out. Uh, and we need to also calc a max physically defensive Wigglytuff. Actually, did we do damage to this earlier? I think we did, right? At some point. Um, Hidden Power did that. Where was Wigglytuff? Um, no, I think we just poisoned it. Used Wish, used Hidden Power. As I got up stealth, as I went into our Maldo. Yep. Okay. So, we need to evaluate here, Wigglytuff. We are, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a lot more confident right now, let me tell you. Um, not PU offensive though, I want the defensive set, like let's say it's max uh, HP, max defense, with a bold nature. How much is our Weavile doing to it at plus two? Weavile, the blank set, uh, no, the Weasley set. Knockoff's doing nothing, uh, we need plus two. Uh, 35 to 41, which means after the poison we could potentially take it out with an ice shard. This is if it's fully physically defensive, so. Uh, did it take a round of poison this turn? 
Um, no, no it didn't. Okay. So, I have two options here. We know that he has Steel Wing, with potentially no special attack investment. Uh, Hidden Power Steel, excuse me. Actually, let me- that's- that's a good- okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna- I'm gonna calc that on our Maldo real quick. Hidden Power Steel. Hidden Power Steel. Does 33 to 39 uninvested. Is that what it did to us? Hidden Power... yeah. Yeah, roughly. So that's, uh, that's an uninvested Wigglytuff. Now, can an uninvested Wigglytuff take me out with a Dazzling Gleam on Weavile? I'm assuming it can. Uh, no, it does 75 to 89. Okay, so it can take us out, yeah. But, I can set up on this thing with Art of Blade, if it's not carrying Fire Blast, which is nice. Uh, and then I can take out the rest of my opponent's team. We can do that. Yeah, let me just go for the knock right here. Knock off this thing's item. Wow, that did 62%. Uh, as my opponent goes for Flamethrower, very nice play, except that we are still alive. And I think that's game. I think that's game. Unless my opponent has a Scarfer in the back somewhere, I think that's just game. Uh, we can go for the knockoff right here again, covering any switch that my opponent wants to make. And Weavile's plus two Ice Shard takes out a non-defensive Latios after rocks. We already calc this, uh, I believe. Latios, Life Orb Attacker. Uh, Ice Shard at plus two does do the job. As you guys can see, 98 to 117. Uh, that's the Jolly set. Yeah, that's what we are. And to, let's say, a, uh, a Golurk. I want to see what Golurk... We already saw Yachi Berry, so I don't think he's going to be Colber. I have to I have to make sure of that, but I don't think he's going to be Colber Berry. If he is, he still doesn't take plus two knockoff from us. Latios comes in. I'm just going to Ice Shard this thing. It's going to go straight down to the Ice Shard. It's not carrying a Yachi Berry, and I think that's going to chalk it up for us, guys. I think that's going to do it. Uh, again, I don't want to get overconfident because this thing could very well be Scarfed. Actually, it takes 93 to 110 from an Ice Shard. Yeah, you know what? Let's just knock it out with Ice Shard. Um, or potentially Protect. Because you know what? I can play for Differential now. Uh, Choice Scarf. Do you still outspeed me even if you're Choice Scarf? Let's bring up a calculator, actually. 229 times 1.5. 343. It can't outspeed me. Ever. Knock off. Gone. It's done. The game's over. The game is over! And your Montreal Habsols have just taken week 5. And this is a division game, guys, and we won 5-0. We jump over River quite a bit right now. We have the same record, but we have better differential at this point. I'm going to get rid of ignore players uh, and ignore spectators. And I'm just going to say GG to my opponent. Um, and that's going to that's gonna be it for this week, guys. We got another win, so we're now 2-3. Uh, I might keep doing uh, live comms, especially if I get a lot of help like this. Uh, I hope Mentz was watching this game because this was a really good game. He helped me prep. Again, Mentz, if you're still watching at this point, thank you so, so much for helping me with my prep this week. We are playing against each other next week, so we won't be able to help each other out, but I'm looking forward to our game. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed this battle, uh, the win, the fact that we took our time with our plays, we were able to focus on the game rather than the chat, uh, then hit that like button down below for us, please. Support your Montreal Habs... Uh, <laughs> Montreal Habs souls. I can't even say my own team name. And uh, if you want to hit subscribe, if you're new to the channel, uh, you can see all of these videos, all the battles that I put out uh, every Sunday. Uh, as well as the lives on Showdown that I do every, uh, almost every day of the week. So, uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next week for the UPA, and I will also see you tomorrow for our OU Live. Thank you, and ciao.